In Mayfield Heights, Ohio, prospective car buyers have a chance to go to school before deciding on their purchases. In Houston, the chairman of Continental Airlines discusses Continental's future in a deregulated and highly competitive market. And in Los Angeles, Arthur Laffer talks about supply-side economics and those who say it has not been a factor in the economic recovery. Those and other stories on the Nightly Business Report. Continental Airlines is currently seeking court approval of its plan for reorganization under Chapter 11 of the bankruptcy laws. That plan is being contested by unions representing Continental employees. But while that dispute continues, Continental is expanding its operations while offering cut rate fares on its routes. To discuss how those changes will influence the airline's future, Continental Chairman and President Frank Lorenzo went on the record at the company's headquarters in Houston. He spoke with traveling correspondent Rodney Ward. Mr. Lorenzo, you've indicated that Continental will try to be the country's largest full-service, low-cost airline. Well, sir, what happens to Continental when your competitors in the airline industry begin to match your fares on competing routes? Uh, well, they have already, uh, and we expect them to. They have um, uh, matched our fares on probably now uh, our, our lowest fares on perhaps 50% of our flights and some of our higher fares on upwards of 75, 80% of our uh, uh, of our routes. Uh, that's just the that's just the name of the business, and that's why with the uh, companion of the very fine product uh, that Continental provides today and is well regarded for, we're going to be a very strong uh, airline uh, contender. Mr. Lorenzo, have you cleared all the obstacles now in terms of? Continental operating on a long-term basis? Oh, uh, certainly not. Uh, we, we have some very formidable challenge, uh, challenges. Uh, as you know, the, uh, the ALPA Pilots Union is still striking uh, Continental and has not come to agreement uh, with us on uh, a, a benefit uh, package. Uh, they have a, uh, an announced plan to try to bring down Continental Airlines, and at the present time, they are in the Congress of the United States trying to pass a law uh, and an amendment of a law that's, uh, that's coming through the Congress uh, that would have the effect of liquidating Continental Airlines. So we certainly still have our, a lot of work cut out for us. We have to work in the marketing area. Uh, we have a number of other areas we have to be very sensitive to. Can Continental survive as a low-cost airline? Continental will survive as a low-cost company, and naturally costs over time uh, will, will go up as they do in any business. But we're starting from just a very, very different base. Uh, before uh, we filed uh, and before we ran into the financial problems that we had in September where we were backed into the wall and had to uh, declare bankruptcy, uh, the company's labor costs were maybe 36 percent, 37 percent of our total costs. Today, that number is about 20%, which is roughly what it is for new entrant airlines. So today, we are competitive, and of course, costs will tend to go up somewhat, but uh, they'll, they'll not change the basic nature of Continental today as a vibrant, competitive company. What is Frank Lorenzo's philosophy at Continental? Our philosophy uh, is to provide a transition for a beautiful company that ran into deregulation and ran into difficulties from deregulation. Our philosophy is to utilize this transition in bringing back now a very strong and a vibrant company to provide a very, very different environment for employees, for management, for ownership to operate within the company, providing much more of a oneness for all of those approaches rather than the distinctly different camps that they were before. Some people might ask, is Frank Lorenzo a man to be trusted? Well, uh, I have often said, and I uh, would have to repeat, that it's been uh, deregulation and the changes that are required uh, make it very easy to confuse the messenger with the message. 
Um, uh, some of the people who are out there on the picket line have had that confusion constantly. Uh, the fact that Frank Lorenzo and a few other people around this company were prepared to talk pretty straight about the problems and also were prepared to put forward some pretty straightforward solutions that had long-term promise and not try to sugarcoat the problems and make them sort of sound good uh, is respected by a lot of the people that are working today and unfortunately for some of the people not working we're in the category of mistrust. Um, I think time is going to show that to, not to be the case. Thank you, Mr. Lorenzo. I've been talking with Frank Lorenzo, chairman of Continental Airlines. Coming up, Arthur Laffer argues that his supply-side theory does a good job of explaining the current economic recovery.